morning. Today's the day. Let's get that plow dirty. All right, so this morning they happened to configure one of the GPS antennas that's going on the plow. While they're doing that, I'm going to run this 1038, 1038 number two, down to the tiling field. This is going to be our tugging tractor if we need it. So we better get it moved down. So I did do my call ahead before you dig or whatever it's called site eval there's our water line looks like that's the only thing we gotta worry about so I didn't think there was anything in this field but that's why you call you don't know till you call let's bring in dad's truck over here when he gets done with the wheat he's gonna leave the sprayer here and join us over at the tiling field we had been keeping the sprayer in the heated shop, but it's supposed to be 60 today. I don't think there's much chance of his booms freezing tonight, especially with 28 in them. Okay, so we just had a little bit of an issue with the 1038, but everything's moving now. So the seats in the 1038s are an active seat. Basically, there's like four firmness presets and they will automatically adjust to uh, the operator, like their body weight. Pretty handy when it works. Well, it wasn't working yesterday. We noticed that it was stuck completely up in there. It's called Ohio Ag, and uh, they came down, they fixed the problem pretty easy. They have to pull a computer in the seat. I don't like that part. But anyway, long story short, I could not get the tractor out of park after they left. Disconnect the battery, now works fine. Equipment's getting too smart. But hey, at least lunch is here. Tractor's dead in the water. Looks like you guys had your priorities right. Well, yeah. We were going to wait, but we didn't want it to get cold. I don't blame you. Right, so the first thing we got to do, which is what's going to control the plow, it's basically going to make sure we're maintaining the right grade and everything to our mains, yep. is we've got to import our tile plan, which uh, luckily Ryan was nice enough to design this for us on the <laughs> SMS, because I don't know how to do that. But we got to get that into, uh, is it IntelliSlope? That's what's yep. going to be, that's the program we're running through our in command. So here is our tile plan. So basically we're going to get this main in and that's probably where we're going to stop for now and see where we're at. Uh, which by putting this main in we can run all of these laterals to it, right? Yep. And um, I mean, as you can see we got a lot more to do um, but with time, weather and whatnot that's the goal for now. By doing this, this is going to really increase the productivity of this field. There's a few ditches here that we'll be able to hopefully close up, farm through, uh, make one field or make one field out of five fields with this project is the goal and increase uh, the productivity quite a bit, I would say. This is pretty wet ground. Everything kind of slopes into a kind of a, a, a valley in the middle of the field. So this should help quite a bit. So right now our tile plant is in that jump drive, correct? Yep. Once we get that imported, all of our, then we'll just have to survey our, our main, I guess, and then put it in the ground. Yep, so this tile plan is just gonna kind of give us a roadmap of where everything goes. Um, you'll still want your iPad that we sent the tile plan to you to know the individual parameters for the mains, as far okay. as depths and grades. Um, all the laterals, the way I designed it, will all be the same parameters. So those will all be easy. Um, but what we're putting in here is kind of a kind of guidance lines to show you where you need to be. So to load that, come up here, data transfer. We're going to import a setup file. And I named it tile plan. And I just, I didn't know what you called yeah. this field. So it's called soil max plow video. Um, it's going to add them since they're not already in your system. It says it successfully imported it. So now if we go to a run screen, so Brown Family Farm, Soil Max Plow video, and if we look at our surveys here, we can see our... Okay, so there's the, there's the whole plan. Yep. And so this area here is the buildings back there, and then this little spot here is back there in that draw where the way the ground lays, we can't get to it from this end or from this end, but yeah. your dad had mentioned he could dip yeah. out that ditch and put a couple of runs up in there like many fields it would be a lot easier if we just had one square field with a main at the end of it but that's just not the way this ground lays uh, there's no real it looks flat till you get out in it and start 
really seeing grades. But. The advantage of ground that falls a bunch of different ways, though, is you don't need as big of a main. Okay, because you you're take, directing it every which way. If you try to take all 180 acres through one piece of pipe, it's going to be a really large pipe depending on the, the the grade of that pipe. Yeah. So with with it falling all the different directions, the biggest pipe we're going to need to install on this based off of the grades is an 8-inch pipe. And the only reason we're really putting an 8-inch in along this edge is just to make sure we've got enough in case you end up filling that ditch in. Okay, yeah. So on this, is the most time-consuming part then digging our mains and getting those in the ground? Yep, I kind of explained tiling. If you take it in like a harvest sense, it's kind of like trucks. If you if you don't have enough trucks, your combine's waiting. If you can't dig holes very fast, then your tractor's waiting. Okay. So what's going to determine how much you can get done is how fast you can dig holes. Okay. So you need a, need a good excavator or backup, man. Yep, yep. All right, so we kind of got a quick lesson on how the plow works, but uh, we got to swap a boot so we can put our first first bit of pipe in. Blake. Happy birthday! Thanks. <laughs> I come here just so you can wish me happy birthday. Yeah, get, <laughs> it's a big big day. Brian wish me happy birthday. Yeah, get done surveying and see my buddy Monroe. So we're gonna pull our tile cart with the Massey Ferguson. Uh, I didn't think we'd be able to use that, but uh, it ended up working out okay. Dad's taking the rubber tire hoe down there. He's going to start digging out our first um, outlet. So if it doesn't seem like we know what we're doing yet, it's because we don't. We're learning from these guys still. So um, hopefully this will make more sense tomorrow. You want to make sure the holes are facing up. Once you get tilted, you got that four foot ring and you can't see oh. where the tip of that is. Yeah. Comes in. Okay, yeah. I can't get this on. Gotcha, yeah. Without doing. So instead of having to walk so up can, there 10 times? Yeah. You may have to nudge the roll. Alright, so we're back in the cab. So this is our first main we're going to install. We just kind of scratched the surface just so everyone could see where we're going to. Right now we're going to survey it. So even though we have. Like Ryan said, our road map of where all these lines are going. We still have to come in and survey it so we can get a, an accurate height, basically an elevation reading. And that's basically how we're going to maintain grade. Am I saying that right? Yep. So we're going to drive through here with the plow completely out of the ground because that is a fixed height. And then uh, then we'll be ready to, to lay our pipe. So when we were getting ready to start putting this pipe in, we realized that the ditch is not deep enough at the outlet. So Dad's going to dig it out a little bit. This whole ditch system does need cleaned out, including this one on the other side of the hoe, but we just haven't got to it yet. But with our surveying, we've seen how much feet we needed. We were able to see at what depth we were when we put the plow into this, uh, this, this hole that he dug out, and we were 20 inches off, so we got to dig it out quite a bit. Yep, we're going to need the excavator. Try out the yank them and the plow all at one, all at one time. We got BJ pulling us just because this being the main, we didn't pre-rip this. Well, we pre-rip part of it, not all of it. Just really scratched it, didn't even really rip it. Plus, we're pulling this six inch. We're going pretty deep with it. I really don't think we'll need a tractor to pull us on the laterals. A lot of people asked why we didn't use the John Deere or why we thought the 1038s would do better. Well. These guys informed us that the, the tall skinny tires is really what you want, isn't it? Yep. Versus floating on top, you need something to cut down. Yeah, with the tires you have on the John Deere right now, we'd, we'd be slipping a lot more than we are now. It has a lot more weight, but it's also, but it's probably got less PSI Pound ground. Inch, yeah. Yeah. So while it's good for field work, spreading out your compaction, we really need the ground to get compacted for a brief second before we shatter it with this, uh, with this shank. I always tell everybody that when you're pulling a tile plow, it's the exact opposite of farming. You want as much compaction as possible, and when you start to slip, you slow down. Plus, these CVTs are pretty nice. Like We can kind of dial in the exact speed we want to go, and as long as we have traction, we're going to go that way. Whereas with our John Deere, like one mile an hour in first gear at full idle is as slow as we can go. So that was going to be a little bit of an issue maybe if we needed to you know, kind of do some fine work. Maybe it's like one and a half miles an hour. This 
might get interesting. We might stretch that yank him a little bit. Oh, maybe not. So we're going right through this road. Yep, there's something. I thought I heard something scrape. All right, there's rocks down in there. So we will fill that back in later, but basically we need to stretch this main all the way through here for it to make the most sense. And we went through the road. So there's our property line. We have to come out here. We're cutting the line. They're going to cap it, and then I will pull this line on through. Or if the Okay, so here's our cap to keep critters out and everything. Keep the keep dirt. full of dirt. Keep the dirt out. There we go. Perfect. So just make sure you're a couple of ribs down. Okay. That way it doesn't crush or anything. Yeah. So now we just got to run it in the ground. The bigger they are, the harder they are to put in. BJ, how was your first Yankum experience? I don't have any comment. Oh, okay. I'll think of something witty later on. All right, now we're going to swap in our four-inch boot, and we're going to run some laterals up to this, up through here. Let's see, uh, see what we can get done. All right, so we got our got our boot changed out. We had the four-inch on, so we're going to try to get a couple uh, laterals done. Dad took off early. He was going to see mom. Uh, he's getting to see her for the second time. So I've got to take off in an hour and a half. So basically, we're going to get a few holes dug. That way, we can do some laterals. BJ's going to run the tile when I, plow when I leave. Get some seat time. We'll see where we're at. So since dad had to leave, I'm back home, man. We're living life on the edge now. I've run an escalator quite a bit, but don't have a whole lot of backhoe experience. So we're definitely behind on the holes. Um, they're getting teed into that, so I'm just getting started digging this second lateral over here. Well... Dang on new guy cut the tile in half. Might have been me. I blame the guy with the depth gauge. So now what we gotta do where we just cut this tile, we're gonna dig out like four to six feet on each side. We'll splice in a piece. It's really the only thing we can do. It's probably gonna happen more. Uh, like I say, I'm not the greatest excavator or backhoe operator in the world, don't claim to be. Um, so, you know, it's probably gonna happen again. Making do with what we got. Uh oh. So BJ's getting uh, getting his chance to run the soil soil max. So see if he can't screw anything up here real fast. So this line that we're putting in here, this is uh, well Ryan called it kind of a sacrificial line. Basically, we're going to put an eight right here in order to take most of the water out of this ditch. It's basically going to be where I'm standing. I'm putting this four right through here for these trees up here. Basically, these trees, the roots on it will grow into this four and not the eight. That's the plan anyways. Uh, Ryan knows what he's doing. I trust him, so that's what we're doing. It's not something I would have ever thought of. That's why I'm really glad these guys are here. She kind of showed us some, you know, some tricks of the trade. Yeah, let's see what they start pulling up now that they're getting in around these roots. Might snag a couple. I think this line's gonna be about 30 inches, so we'll see, I don't know. 32 inches I think is our target depth. Yeah, there's some roots in there going right through them. So normally we would have the tile on the other side and using the power feeder, but with uh, the tree line being over there, just pre-strung the, the line out. Looks like it's feeding through just fine. All right, so I'm heading out. BJ's gonna get some time in the plow, and I think them guys are gonna stay and dig some holes for tomorrow. Once you get your holes dug, one of the laterals is the fun part. That's, uh, I mean, it, it seems fun to me. I mean, things are happening. You're making progress. It just takes a while to get your main and your holes and everything dug. But uh, they're gonna stick around and do that a little bit, and then tomorrow, hopefully, we can come back and get some uh, get some tile knocked, knocked out. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can follow along in this project and all the other fun projects we got going on uh, this month, next month, the rest of the year. Shop, fertilizer building, house, new combine, new tractor, strip tilling, plant, combine, spray them, all sorts of fun stuff.